I've been foraging all my life basically, I taught one of my parents, I've been growing up foraging um, and it's, I don't know, it's just something I've always done. I went to uni and decided to do a hobby and I thought there's only one thing that encompasses all different types of sciences and that is brewing. Uh, so that's chemistry, that's biology, physics and maths and so I decided to do it and it rarely, it sort of took over my life and it became the sort of uh, bane of my parents. <laughs> they weren't. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically where it came from. So I practiced and practiced, and eventually people really wanted to start to have my products. And that's when the idea of actually making it into a business came from. Because originally I sort of took for granted that I went and foraged, and you know, I just thought nothing of it. But then when people actually wanted the produce, like the, the idea of it actually becoming a viable business started to emerge. Basically, small businesses are the biggest contributor towards keeping the economy going. Um, so anything that can support small businesses, such as Small Business Saturday, you know, they, they, they should be supported fully rarely, I think. And I think what is great about it is that at such a crucial time of year, you know, coming to Christmas, I mean, obviously in America where it first started, it's, after, it's around Thanksgiving, isn't it, I believe. Um, you know, I mean, this is the time where small businesses need as much um, advertisement and um, the opportunity to, um, you know, showcase their products basically for, ready for Christmas. On the day um, I plan to do mulled mulberry gin um, so basically I'll be serving it up to customers on the day so it'll be with spices like cloves and cinnamon things I'll just get the customers a bit warmed up um, but I'll also be doing my mulled bags I'll be selling the mulled bags with the mead as well um, so it's a new thing I want to try and do um, and then also uh, basically I've got a, a beer called Congo Stout which is my banana and chocolate beer it was inspired by my favourite pancake um, toppings, I know it's a bit strange, but basically I've always wanted to do a Christmas version of that, which is called Crimbo Congo. So basically it's got hazelnuts in there as well, and it's just a bit more malty and a bit more, you know, a bit more full-bodied, should we say. And so that's one of the products I really want to showcase as well. I know that everything I do is handmade, from the wax stamps that go onto the mead bottles, from the actual beer and mead itself, um, the fact that I got foraging produce, there's no big company out there that rarely goes out and forages produce. Um, to get what they need. Obviously it's all either farmed or they get it from abroad. Um, I mean obviously with the bananas and chocolate I get those from abroad but um, like most things like the mulberries, as you can see here we've got the mulberry tree um, from where I got some of my produce. There's a few other mulberry trees around the area as well. Um, but this is just an example of things that I do which big companies just can't do really. You know people don't have to wonder where their products come from. With my products, they know it's come from a local forest area, and I think that's something that you know people are really wanting these days to know where their products come from.